Hello, YouTubers. Welcome to Johnny's Nutsack YouTube channel. Previously, I had a couple of videos show you how to get Microsoft 365 E5 developer subscription for free and integrate with your own domain. That was one year ago. Later on, I had another video to show you how to renew your Microsoft 365 automatically every 90 days. So far, my E5 developer subscription has been renewed for two years. And I also had another video to show you how to change your settings to get five terabyte one drive space. All those methods and process are still working. Based on recent Microsoft documentation, we are able to upgrade our OneDrive to 25 terabytes. So in this video, I'm going to show you the process, how it looks like to upgrade your 5 terabyte to 25 terabyte. And also you don't need to write any PowerShell script or issue any PowerShell command to do this upgrade. Now let's start. Let's log in to Microsoft 365 Admin Center. URL is admin.microsoft.com. You're going to need a global admin account to log in to make the changes and verify the settings. We're going to check the SharePoint settings and the OneDrive settings for now. So click all admin centers from the left panel. Scroll down. You will see SharePoint, which is used to manage size, sharing, storage, and more for SharePoint and OneDrive. So let's click on SharePoint. It will open another page to manage the SharePoint. You will see settings on the left panel. Click on it. The settings has options for SharePoint and OneDrive. So we're going to check the site storage limits for SharePoint first. So there's two settings, automatic and manual. So we already checked the manual. So that means you have an option to set specific limit for each site. What that means, let's go to one of my sites to check the settings. So I'm going to check the 51 sec list. SharePoint site, click on it. In the general tab, you will see storage limit option. So you can add it to change the settings for maximum storage for the site. So maximum is 25 terabytes, which I already set it up. So this is for SharePoint. So the maximum SharePoint site is 25 terabytes, which you can make the changes for each site. We're going to go back to settings to verify the OneDrive. So OneDrive storage limit. So right now the numbers is five terabytes. As you can see from this default storage limit page, the maximum you can set is five terabytes. So there's an option based on this Microsoft documentation. We can upgrade to 25 terabytes per user. You can click run test OneDrive storage limit to 5 terabytes, or you can go back to your Microsoft 365 at the main center. And there's a help and support menu here. Click on it. You can search increase one drive storage. So it will automatically prompt that. So increase one drive storage. You will get that option to run diagnostics for the users you wanted to upgrade to 25 terabytes. So there's a user I'm testing right now using 51 sec.eu.org this account. So we can run test. 
So then we will see the diagnostic result is are we qualified to do that or not. Based on the requirement, you will need to have filled 90% of five terabyte storage before requesting an increase. So basically, you need to use at least 4.5 terabytes of your storage. The diagnostics result or shows up, I only use probably around 300 gigabytes, which is not qualified to do this upgrade. I'm going to show you how to check your OneDrive usage here. So log into your office.com using your account test at 51sec.eu.org, which I'm going to upgrade to 25 terabytes. You can click this nine dot icon and then select OneDrive. So I have a couple of folders here. One thing you can check for each folder, you can see the details. You will see the size is 316 gigabytes. For the whole OneDrive usage, you can go to this configuration gear icon on the right top of the window. Choose OneDrive settings. There's some more settings here. You can find out storage metrics from this more settings page. Storage metrics will show you the storage usage for total. As I said, it's about 6% before we test uh, from the running diagnostics. We have almost 4.8 terabytes free. To upgrade it, we have to fill the 90% of these five terabytes. So we're going to do one thing. We're going to copy some folders. I'm going to create in folder temp one terabyte, two terabytes, three terabytes. I'm going to fill in the information into those one terabyte, two terabyte, three terabyte, four terabyte, five terabyte folders using the existing files. I have about, uh, in the ISO folder, I have about 300 gigabytes. So if I can copy three times to other folder, for example, I can copy to one terabyte. Copy to two terabytes. It will take some time to copy all files to those folders I just created. Um, so make sure you can make 4.5 terabytes copies. So once that's done, I will come back to continue my video. So now I'm going to pause my video and do the copying and the wait the all files has been copied over, duplicated to all those folders to make sure it's more than 4.5 terabytes. Then I will show you the next step. Okay, I had uh, made lots of copies. Um, now the size for this temp folder has been increased to the 4.89 terabytes. This is a new folder I just created by creating a duplicate of this ISO folder. Um, you also can check the OneDrive settings for the um, storage metrics. You will see you need more quota for this OneDrive. So you can request from here as well. Let's click on this link, send in a request. 
operation completed successfully. So this is one way. Another way for uh, what I showed you before, based on this document, you can run test OneDrive storage limit to five terabytes. You can run this test from the admin center. So, so here is DAG, OneDrive storage limit to five terabytes. You can do test 51 sec, use ORG, let's learn account you want to upgrade from 5 terabytes to 25 terabytes so we run test again we run that lab before we only used like 10 minutes ago we only used like six percent of five terabytes which is not qualified to upgrade but now we are using more than five terabytes so let's see how the results come back to us here they are saying you're gonna need to create a new service request. Your tenant is not configured to increase your user's OneDrive quota beyond 5 terabytes. So if that's the case, we just submit our request. So we just open a ticket, service ticket, and then we should be able to get it resolved. So this is the same thing as we did before, before we duplicate files to get uh, the, to meet the requirement for 90% of 5 terabytes. Unfortunately, we didn't get these upgrade settings. Uh, we still have to open a service request. They're going to contact you. So now I'm going to stop the video here and wait in the call from Microsoft to upgrade to the 25 terabyte. So for my tenant, I didn't get this upgrade uh, option from the uh, helps page. Um, I have to open a service ticket. Um, so if you go to your help and the support, you will see you have this service ticket opened. So that means if you didn't get this option to, to self upgrade, uh, then you have to open service request. Um, you can view the service request to see how it's going. Also, you can view case communication to see the status. Um, so after a couple of minutes, so it's very fast process. I got a uh, uh, reply say issue resolved and uh, actually it's saying uh, someone is working on it. Um, he has my ticket and working on it. So it has issue resolved. I did check uh, the storage metrics again. Uh, I didn't see right away the change taking into effect right now. It's still 5 terabytes. So it may take some time, um, but that's the basic process for you to get 25 terabytes on your OneDrive. Uh, I will update the status for this service request to upgrade 25 terabytes in the video description. That's pretty much everything for this video. If you like this video, you found this video has some useful information, please give me a thumb up. Also, if you haven't subscribed it, please click button below and subscribe it. Thank you for watching. See you in next episode.